Build an electric bike, part one, frame. Hi, I'm Rich, and this video shows the tools and techniques I've used to make the frame for the electric bike I'm building. The next video will show me building the forks to complete the frame, and if you want to see how I set up the tube bender, there will be a link at the end of the video. So a few months ago, I was in a shop and saw a model of a Second World War British paratroopers motorbike, which I instantly wanted to make. I then went home and did some research into the bike to discover a collection of mini motorbikes that followed on after the war and they were called the Little Indians. These have an awesome tubular frame design which inspired my bike's geometry. Next I decided to replace the petrol engine for an electric motor for a few reasons. Firstly I've built motorbikes before and they require a lot of maintenance. Now I also love renewable energy and wanted to go electric as it's quieter, cleaner and also in the future I can charge my bike from the environment around me, for example with some solar panels. Before I could plan the bike dimensions I need some wheels. So for this I've got two fat bike wheels off this second hand bike. These are 4 inch wide and 20 inch in diameter. The only other part I'll probably be using off this bike is the steering housing and assembly. This will make it a lot easier to attach the forks to my bike. All I've done for the design is cut out a piece of cardboard to the shape and size of the frame I was wanting. Here's a little animation of how I've set out the bike. So there's the fat wheels, forks and handlebars, seat and motor, chain and battery, and of course the pedals as it is a push bike. So here I've got some sections of three meter long stainless steel polished tubing. This is 25 mil diameter and 1.65 mil wall thickness. To bend the frame, I'll be using the tube bender in my first video. The frame is split into two halves, which will be welded together. Here I'm bending the tube around the die till I get the angle I'm happy with, which matches the cardboard cutout. An issue with my design are the bends are too tight that can physically be formed via the die as the tube follows the die around here. You can see the corner is going to be larger and not as tight. I'll just have to adjust the length of the forks to solve this problem. The bend that you can see which is forming now is where the forks will attach to the frame. Now I've put the frame in the bender vertically, so I can bend the top section of the frame to fit around the battery, which will be housed just underneath the seat. This consists of two bends, one right after the other, to bend the frame out and then back in. This is the bend to bring it back in, to straighten it with the rest of the frame. There we go. So that section there, as you can see, will be doubled up, mirrored on the other side, so the battery can fit down the middle. Now I've got a section of the frame nearly complete. I'm just going to take out some more steel, mark it up, so I can just repeat that on the next half of the frame. So I've got my first bend in the second section, so I'm just going to match them together and put the same mark as the first one down so I can get the exact same bend. As you can see here, the second half is nearly finished, but I'm just going to have to do the reverse bends to go around the battery on the top. And there's the two sections of the frame complete. They're both identical, apart from the top section is reversed to go around the battery on both sides. Here I'm just cable tying the two halves together so I can get an idea roughly of what the design's going to look like just in case I need to recap any any design flaws now the hardest bend for the frame were these two sections here these had to be bent at the same length same angle to finish at the same place so it was a bit tricky as you can see here I've just used a tape measure to try and get a rough estimate of where it'll end up 
I did actually manage to get them bang on, which I was very chuffed about. I just take the two sections together just to see how the frame's progressing. And that's the U-bend from my first video, which will go around the rear wheel. Now I'm just taking some flat bar, and this will be used to weld the two frame sections together. Now all I'm doing here is strapping the frame down to a pallet, and I'm actually putting a spacer of 10 mil between the two sections, as I've decided I wanted a little gap, so I can run the wires from the motor up the frame between the two sections. So I'm just taking one of them little sections of flat bar, I've clamped it down, and I've just put a bit of duct tape around them, just because when I'm welding it creates this kind of smog effect on the steel. So the tape's just to try and prevent that happening further down the tube. Now the welder I'm using is a gasless MIG welder. This welder was very cheap and it definitely reflects in its performance. It's fine for a project where the look of the welds don't matter, but for this the look of the bike is a major part, so I'd definitely recommend getting a better welder. But for me, I had the welder already and I'm still in lockdown, so I couldn't exactly go out shopping for a new one. And when I get one, I'll want to make sure it's suitable for a lot of different projects. So I decided to just use this one for now, as I can always cover up the welds when I spray the bike anyway. So all I've done there is measure the length of the tube needed and just marked up where I'm going to cut it. And to hold the rear wheel in place I'll be using the U-bend that I bent in the first video. And now we're just going to cut out a space for it. Now because the tube is round, I'm just going to try and grind out a little bit of these two tubes here just so it'll fit a bit better and it'll create a nicer weld. Now I'm just marking out on the down tubes, I'm going to do the same, cut out a little slot so it'll fit around that U-tube a bit nicer. Now I've just secured it in place. I'm just going to put a few spot welds there, check it all out, and that's good to go. So now I'm just welding it all up. Here yeah, I'm just strapping the frame down, so I can align the tubes to the U-bend. Just going to pull that one in. And they're ready to be welded up. Now I've got some more flat bar here, this is 50mm wide, this is going to be used to actually take the fitting from the wheel to be bolted to the frame. So I'm just cutting out that little section there, which is where the shaft from the wheel will actually slot in. I'm just going to weld them to the frame as well. And now just time to remove all of that tape, get the stickiness off, give it a bit of a clean up. And it's complete. So that is ready now to have the front forks attached, which will be in my next video. And that completes part one of building an electric bike frame. And if you want to see how I set up the tube bender, you can click here. Thanks for watching.